Hey guys, it's Mrs. Landero with a new book called The Scrambled States of America. I love this book. It is also a puzzle, which was super fun. And I used to use it when I was teaching our kids all about America. It's really funny. So let's get going. This is by Lori Keller. It's kind of one of those books that you really should read in person, though, just because there's so much dialogue. So let me see if I can get through this with you. Hi there. I'm Sam. I'm assuming since you opened this book that you're in the mood to hear a story. Well, you're in luck because I have a story for you. It's a little story about this fine country of ours. I'll bet you thought you'd heard them all, but not all people know this one. And Ohio is saying, let me tell it. And Colorado's like, oh, let me, let me. And Uncle Sam says, no, no, you two. That part is my job. Now get back in your places. We're about to start the story. Let's give them a couple of seconds to get back into position. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Okay, turn the page. Well, it was just your basic, ordinary day in the good old U.S. of A. States all over the country were waking up having their first cups of coffee, reading the morning paper, and enjoying the beautiful sunrise. All the states that is except for Kansas, he was not feeling happy at all. How do I know this? Because he said, I am not feeling happy at all. What's wrong? His best friend, Nebraska, kindly asked him. Nebraska is a very kind state. I don't know, moaned Kansas. I just feel bored. All day long, we just sit here in the middle of the country. We never go anywhere. We never do anything. And we never meet any new states. Hmm, said Nebraska. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska. You're the best friend a state could have. But don't you ever want more? Don't you ever want to see what else is out there? Yes. Yes, I do, Nebraska said excitedly. And now that you mention it, I'm sick and tired of hearing North Dakota and South Dakota bicker all the time. So look, this right here says Nebraska's thought process. Let's see if you guys can see this. The thought process. And he's like, ding, ding, ding. Yes, I do want more. All right, we're getting into the I have a great idea. I have a great idea, exclaimed Kansas. Let's have a party and invite all the other states. You know, one of those get to know you deals. Everyone can bring a favorite dish. We could have music and dancing. That's a great idea, shrieked Nebraska. I wish I thought of it myself. So with a little help from their neighbors, Missouri and Iowa, those wacky little Midwestern states planned the biggest party ever. They sent out invitations and blew up balloons. They even hired a band to play. What time of music do you play? Uh, uh, oh yes, I love accordions. And then look right here, they're saying, hey, hey, how do you spell Connecticut? <laughs> that is a hard one, huh guys? When you guys get back to school, you should rent this book from the library so you can read all the funny dialogue. At last, the big day came, and little by little, the states arrived at the party. Nebraska and Kansas were on the welcoming committee. Iowa was in charge of coats, and Missouri and Illinois passed out name tags for each state to wear. Oh, look, they're saying, wow, those southwestern states can really dance. And then, who is that? Tennessee is saying, this is the third time I've dropped my fork. Within minutes after their arrival, the states began making friends with each other. They spent hours talking, laughing, dancing, and singing. And look, Nevada and Mississippi are falling in love. Do you see that heart connection? All right, let's look at all these pictures because they're fun. It was long into the evening when Idaho and Virginia got up on the stage. Excuse me, Idaho said politely. Idaho is a very polite state. Sorry to interrupt, but Virginia and I were just talking and we thought it might be fun if she and I switched places. You know, so we could see a new part of the country. Yes, Virginia chimed in. Then we thought maybe all of you might want to try it too. What do you think? A wave of excitement swept through the room. Oh, yes, what a grand idea. We should have done this years ago. They could hardly wait. 
Immediately, the states made their plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home to pack. It took the better part of the next morning for the states to move to their new spots, but finally they were settled in. All of the states were much happier now that they were by their new neighbors and in a new part of the country. Oh, yes. This was a much better arrangement. Look at this, you guys. Does that look like the United States? That looks crazy. <clears throat> but after a couple days had passed and all the excitement had died down, the states began to realize that they weren't as happy as they thought. Florida, who had switched spots with Minnesota, was freezing in the frosty northern climate. And Minnesota, who forgot to buy sunscreen, got an awful sunburn. Alabama, New York, and Indiana, all of whom Calif all of whom took California's place, were bothered by an annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. What do you think that is, you guys? What does California have that most other states don't? Arizona, who had traded places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves kept ruining her hairdo. Alaska, who had been wanting a little more interaction with the other states, was irritated by Oklahoma's handle jabbing into his left-hand side and Mich Michigan's thumb tickling his right. Okay, let's look at this. Youch! Ooh, he got sunburned. And look at over here, guys. Oh, man. Did you guys see this? Nevada is asking Mississippi if she wants to become Mrs. Ippy. <laughs> They're so in love. It's silly. And worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of the country, was now stuck in the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. In the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. My guitar is soggy and I feel so blue. And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet, just like the good old days. Look at now Hawaii is stuck with all those other crazy states. Well, there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So even faster than they made their first trip, they packed up their things and they hit the road. Here's Illinois. Yes, my name is Illinois and I need an airline ticket to, um, well, Illinois. Mm-hmm. No, the S is silent. <laughs> That's funny. Looks like they're all zooming away, guys. They want to get back home. As the sun set across the country, all the states from A to W were back in their very own homes. The states were so happy to see their old friends again. They spent an entire evening sharing their new experiences with each other, the good and the bad. That night, all the states in the country went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they had made, but most of all, feeling very thankful to be home. The end. I think that is a beautiful story, especially right now when we are all home and hunkered down and thinking about all the places we want to go and visit soon. Um, but I think it's really nice to remember there's no place like home.